Chris on the Cavino and Rich show. Yes, yes. Because I mean, not only are you a superstar and you bring the party, but you're a former radio dude, man. Absolutely, can you yeah. Tell us, can you tell us like about the radio roots and what it means to you, man? The radio roots, man. Uh, you know, it's just it's you expressing your personality to to millions of people. So you know. You got to get it together. It's, it's fun. It's how did really you do fun. That? How did you go from radio guy to, to superstar like that, though? I mean, how did you, how that you make my that plan. transition? Are you looking for advice? Yeah, <laughs> I am. Of course. It was always my plan. Even before I went up to the radio station, I was yeah. already doing uh, music, and I had demos. So when I went there, I basically was setting myself up to give my music to all of the artists and producers that came to the <laughs> radio station. That, that was the scam. Yeah. Get it on it. Were you any good on yeah, the radio? It was the whole though? plan. Hell yeah. I was yeah. damn good. You hear me now, man? Come on, man. Do you miss I was it? the best. I was the best. <laughs> do you miss it though at all? You know what? I can't say that I nah, do. Oh, yeah, he's that. living the life. You think yeah. he misses doing yeah, his yeah, nighttime radio show? Hey, what type of watch is that? That is ridiculous. What is that? Man, this is a Joe Rodeo watch. I got a bunch of watches. So yeah, this this one right here is That's a Joe in the rotation? Rodeo. Oh yeah. That's hot, man. Hanging out that's with Ludacris. That's a nice watch there too, my brother. Well, that's that. You know what? That's We're ballers on a budget. That's a <laughs> That's a Nixon watch. It's nice. Now, when you uh, when you go to a party like this, I mean, is it is it hard to avoid the ass gazing? Are you looking? Around? I mean, there's a lot of booty here tonight. Oh, how do man. you how do you focus? Come on, man. As a man, there, there, how do you, you focus? Can you, focus. The, you can never avoid the ass gazing. You know what I, I mean? What type of what, what's the perfect ass? We argue about this because sometimes he likes an ass that's too big. And, I mean, how what's a perfect ass? Man, to, it's hard to explain. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to see it, but uh, you know the one that has the, the perfect shape. So you know it has the perfect perfect width. The perfect, perfect depth. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? You want it to be not too, you not too saggy. Yeah. You can't, he, he not, likes a little mush. I, I don't like strong. it. Not too far. Yeah, and that's it's too it's firm. Like, it, it's basically a well-balanced booty. So all the things <laughs> that people like in a booty, you balance all that out. And there you have is the perfect butt, man. Not too hard. Not too soft. You know what I mean? And there's going to be a lot of booties for us to all look at tonight. Because <laughs> yeah. last night we did the leather and lace party. Now tonight the Maxim party. It seems like all the themes cater to uh, to ass because it's like superhero themes. Well, so this my the party. Hey, this is my type of party, then, man. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to go in. Yeah, as, as a booty expert, do you think it's gone too far a little bit? Because we see some girls. We're at the mall today. We saw some girls. I mean, it was ridiculous. Hey, man, yeah, you know, a, some mean, of these girls, they they ass don't really belong to them. Yeah, so I that's know. the thing. But. Can you, you know, tell him that? Because I'm saying, dude, that ass is fake. And he's like, no, it's not. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> Some of these asses is, is, is fugazi out here. See, I told you, yeah. bro. Oh, I told yeah. you. I'm sorry, sorry, our whole sorry to break it to I'm you. I'm sorry our whole conversation revolves around ass little Chris, but that's really what's hey, on our mind most my of the time. Of, my type of conversation, <laughs> man. It's all good. I'm ready to go in here and see some. Oh, we'll, let, we'll let you go do that, man. But, thank uh, you, thank you. Listen, when you go to a party like this, is it still a thrill like when they're doing some mixes and songs throughout your whole career somehow make like the mixes that the DJ does? Hell Absolutely, yeah. man. That's what I do it for. You know what I mean? And that gives me motivation to go back in and make sure I make some more hits. I love it, man. Yeah. Well, doing big uh, things on the big screen. I love that. I love all the songs, all, the, you, all the appearances. Thank you for being on our show. Absolutely, Ludacris. man. Thank Appreciate you so much, man. Love. Pleasure. On the Asses. Cavino Asses. Asses. Show. <laughs> the show about ass. Cavino and Rick. Thank you, Ludacris. <laughs> Ludacris hanging out with us, He's, man. Ludacris is going to go in there and be like, yeah, I went on this radio show and it was just ass. That's... Uh...